Hello, I'm Mandeep Singh, founder of Mandeeps.com. In this video, we will be looking at how to use themes in our live rotator module. If you've not seen the getting started video, I strongly recommend to take a look at the getting starting video for live rotator. This is uh, more or less a continuation of that video. So, all right, so we have our live rotator module from getting started video where we have couple de uh, default or uh, default Windows 7 images rotating with a simple fade effect. Uh, let's go ahead and click on options and bring our option dialog into the view and uh, we've covered all these settings and different transitions effects and getting started videos so I'm not going to go ahead and spend any more time on that in this video but I'm going to show you how quickly you can go ahead and change the look and feel of your rotator using our themes so if you go ahead and choose template one you will see right there that your rotator has changed completely and now it's uh, it's showing uh, in a completely different look and feel. So you see your uh, title right here on the top. You see your description. Also notice when I moved my mouse over the rotator stopped rotating. That is also a setting pause and hover that I have enabled here. I see it's rotating too fast for my liking so I'm going to change it to four seconds and as I make any changes here they're automatically uh, made to the rotator instantaneously. Okay, so that's what live uh, rotator themes are. They allow you to go ahead and change the look and feel. In this particular template, we have these thumbnails. I can click on any one of these directly and it'll switch to that particular slide. So if you uh, if you missed how, how these title and description are coming from getting started video, then we can cover that really quick. We can go to manage slides and here's all our slides. And if I click here, you can see uh, amazing view. I'm going to go ahead and change that to let's say amazing desert view uh, and I'll save that and let's go ahead and uh, this tulips I'll call it uh, uh, flowers as well so let's go back and you'll see those changes applied uh, amazing desert and uh, let's go here and you'll see now tulips flowers so let's go back to our options and I'm going to bring that into the view again and let's change the template. Let's go to template 2. And there we have it again, a completely different look and feel. We see our title on the top. We see a description. I can go left. Uh, I can go right and take a look. I can click one of these boxes to go directly to a slide. And uh, let's switch to template 3. Now this is more of a tabbed look and feel. And again, I can click on any of the tabs. Or if I let it wait, it's going to scroll through all of them. There we go. So moving on, template four. This one again is a similar, it's not a tab look, but it's a similar approach and I can click on any one of these or just have it scroll through. So template five. It's more of a, like a thumbnail strip at the bottom. I can click on it. Uh, and this is a widescreen view, so you would really want to have some widescreen pictures for this. Template six something similar but the theme strip is on the right now and we have title and description template 7 again a smaller thumb script uh, with a background and it will do the same thing and finally have template 8 which uses thumbnails on the right and description on the left so I'm gonna go ahead and go back to template 1 and save Okay, so are we limited to the number of templates? No, of course not. You can always add your own templates. Check out the uh, video on how to create your own themes to see how you can create your own template and look and feel. And uh, let us know if you have any questions or concerns. If you need help creating any of the templates, we'll be more than happy to assist you. Just open a support ticket on our site and we'll, we'll help you create a template or look and feel for to match your site. If you have any other questions, let us know and thank you for watching the video.